face cam on in one minute. For the fans. Oops. Okay, three, two, one. It works! Dude, I don't get why my ISO is so high. Maybe it's because it's getting brighter right now. But, good morning, good afternoon. It is 10.49 a.m. Friday, April 14th. Tomorrow is a big day. You know, the funny number. But, hello, good morning. Hope everyone is doing well today. I didn't click a live for three days. I have to address the controversy. That's why we're just chatting for the start of the stream. Or farming. Also, like, I haven't talked in, like, three days, barely. So, yeah. We're gonna see how this goes. So, for the past few weeks, I've been noticing, like, pain, like, in my jaw. Like, or my neck, sorry. I was like, hmm. Maybe my lymph nodes are swollen again. And then, on Saturday, I started feeling pain in my jaw. And I was like, you know, I haven't done gog gog in a while. It can't be that. So... <laughs> I was like, shit, I should go to the dentist. So, because I think it was, yeah, Saturday night, I could barely sleep because my teeth hurt a lot. And then also on Monday night, it hurt a lot. So I was like, shit, I should go to the dentist. And for the longest time, I assumed that dental is not covered by Medicaid because this is also what my parents told me. But looking back, I went to the dentist like twice once to get like cavities taken out and then i got metal caps and then when i was in middle school i got ceramic caps and ceramic caps are like three thousand dollars ain't no way my parents could have afforded that so tldr medicaid started covering dental or some dental services for children and adults in 2010 hashtag obama was great <laughs> so that means my parents lied which, honestly, huge, huge L. And honestly, an L on my part for like, double checking whenever I got onto my own insurance or was no longer a dependent. So, I was looking at my insurance plan and it said Medicaid Apple Health, which is what it's called in Washington State. And it said preventative care. And then in small text underneath, it says dental included. I was like, what? So, I had to call like several offices and see which ones took Medicaid because obviously when places take Medicaid, they're not getting the bag right away, okay? They're not swiping your credit card whenever you check out. So obviously they're not incentivized to take Medicaid, but there was a few clinics in my area. So I called one up and she's like, yeah, we have appointments for today because apparently any type of tooth pain counts as an emergency, which is kind of a dub. So I, I get an appointment for like two hours later <laughs> and I was like, I'm in. Because it was either wait a week or go in in two hours. And I was like, shit, I'll go in today. So it's like this hole in the wall clinic. The staff was really nice, but there was a whole bunch of like God shit. <laughs> like there was prayers on the walls. There was also like a little, a little box on the table. Be like, oh, if you want... If you want the head doctor to read any of your prayers, put them in the box. And I was like, and I'm walking in there with my rainbow striped coat. And I'm like, shit, I didn't look this up before I went. <laughs> so I walk in, the staff is really nice. They're chill, they're cool. And it took like an hour and a half, mainly because I got there 30 minutes. So it took them an hour to do like one x-ray. And then I had like a five minute consultation and Turns out, I don't have an infection. Let's go. 
My teeth do need to be cleaned. Um, editor, like, enhance the whiteness. Enhance the white balance on the teeth. <laughs> I'm not editing this. <laughs> so, like, and I haven't gone to the dentist in, like, ten years. Because the last time I got my teeth cleaned was, like, middle school or very early high school. Because they had, like, free dental bands for the brokies outside the school. So, if you got there in time, they would clean your teeth for free. So, I only did that twice. So, it's been, like... Seven plus years since my teeth have been cleaned. So anyway, they, I do an x-ray. The doctor pokes around my mouth and she was like, you know, you don't have an infection. And I was like, good. But they were like, it's either, because I have pain from here, like in the front teeth, but barely any back here. She was like, it's either your teeth are like really dirty because there is plaque buildup. And I was like, I know. I brush my teeth once a day, I'm being honest, and I'll floss maybe like once a month, if I feel something. And she's like, yeah, it's either your plaque is like, so built up that it's like separating your teeth, and I was like, oh. Or your wisdom teeth are coming in, and I was like, oh no. It's not that I'm like, scared of anesthesia, but, I almost said Anastasia. <laughs> it's not that I'm scared, it's just like, not ideal. And I can't even have, like, ice cream anymore. I mean, I can. I'm just, like, not allowed to. My doctor says I should minimize dairy. So I can't even, like, have, like, the good outcome. So, yeah, that's why I was gone the past few days. Because I was figure Like, I went to the dentist on Tuesday. I have to go back again next week. Because they were like, well, we can't do x-rays for your back teeth. Because, you know, like, didn't want that when you called. And I was like, well, I didn't know. I didn't say that. <laughs> I didn't say that. But, um, so yeah, I have to go back again next week and get x-rays for my back teeth to see if my wisdom teeth are coming in. Like, throughout the past few days, I'm having, like, a level 1 to level 4 pain, like, here. So it's, like, not crazy. And the reason why, like, I didn't go right away. Sorry, I got an email. Yeah, we're good. Um... The reason why I didn't go right away is because mainly I didn't really had, realize I had dental cover. And also, two, like, I have chronic pain. Like, I told this to the dentist. <laughs> I felt so bad because I was, like, giggling when I was telling her. I was like, okay, she didn't have the tools in my mouth, but she had a mouth. She was holding them like this. And I was like, yeah, I have, like, chronic pain normally, so, like, I just thought it was normal. But, you know, I, I've never had pain in my teeth. And she's like, honey, like, always go to the dentist if you feel pain in your mouth. And I was like, oh, well, now I know. But I have to wait for more x-rays. It's either my teeth are dirty, so I did schedule a cleaning at a different clinic. But that's not till May. L. So I have to get cleaned, x-rays, or it could be, like, nerve damage. Which, ooh, could be possible because I have my other nerve damage throughout my body. So... We will see. I think the the best part about the dental visit was one of the workers. He was like a little zoomer. <laughs> like, you can tell who's like a little zoomer kid, okay? And I'm not gonna leak his age. But, because he was the dental assistant, so he was the guy who did my x-ray, who like checked me in and shit. I was like, I was looking at him. Because I was, I was goofing and gaffing with him right away. Because like, obviously the younger kids, I'm almost 25, I'm still a kid. An adult. Like, I was goofing and gaffing with him, and I turned to him. I'm like, you look young. I'm like, how old are you? And he says his age, which is like, I don't want to leak. But he was in his teens, okay? Like, very young for a dental assistant. I'm like, what the hell? He's like, yeah, I just got in early. I was like, shit. But he, <laughs> he had, like, almost a broccoli cut. Like, if he shaved the sides. He had, like, two double ring piercings. And I'm like, dude, obviously you're a fucking super. Like, obviously. But, but, yeah, he talked to me for, like, the majority of the time I was waiting for the doctor. But he was cool. Anyway, so that was the past few days. Or that was Tuesday. And then Wednesday and Thursday, like, I just had to decompress. Because, like, I hate doing phone calls. I hate scheduling shit. Because it's, like, you gotta wait on hold. And, like, a huge anxiety when, like, setting up doctor appointments. They just, like, deny you. Which, thankfully, the clinics I called all accepted. So I got to, like, pick and choose a little bit. But still, like, I hate doing phone calls. Like, I'm good, I riz, I'm charming, okay? But it's still, like, really annoying. 
genuinely, it's really fucking annoying. And I had to wait for callbacks, so it's like, I don't want to stream if I have to wait for a phone call. And I'll be honest, I needed two days of rest because, dude, holy fuck. The last Peace Luck stream, man, I don't, I know I have to finish Peace Luck, but like, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to. But it's fine. I'll I'll beat it at some point. It I genuinely thought I could beat it in two weeks, which if we think about it, it's only been 16 stream days of peace log. And that's like two weeks. Dude, my tooth hurts. Okay. Yeah, so that was the past few days. I've been editing and stuff. It's gonna be a short stream today, probably no sub only in the afternoon because I need to get some edits done. Cause like the tooth shit, like right now it's like a level one pain. It's intermittent, so it's not triggered by anything. It's like my normal fucking pain. Like, there's no pattern. Like, when I bite, it's the no it's the same. If I have hot or cold drinks, it's the same. So, it's been, like, in waves throughout the days. And the only thing I can do is pop ibuprofen and, like, hope it doesn't hurt. Until I get those scans done. So, yeah, that's been the past few days. But I was feeling good enough today. Because I've said this before many times in the past. I'm gonna be yabbing. VOD watchers, uh, skip 10 minutes. <laughs> I've always told myself I'm not gonna click go live if I don't want to, which... I didn't want to the past few days, because I- Dude, I was just so stressed about the two shit. Thankfully, in Washington State, the only thing that is not covered by Medicaid for dental is crowns, or specifically porcelain crowns. Orthodontists, so like brace coverage. And then, one more thing, but any type of like checkup, cleaning, or emergency surgery is basically covered. I was like, shit, I could have been getting my clean teeth cleaned like every year. This sounds like Mario Kart. How okay, this compilation is called Cute Nintendo Tunes to Walk Your Dog To. 31 minute time stamp. Oh, Mario Kart toy. There's a Mario Kart, like, minigame in Nintendogs? <laughs> okay, I've never played Nintendogs, but I did buy, like, a knockoff Nintendogs game for the Wii. So, we'll be playing that for Wii Week next year. Why is this in Nintendogs? It's just Mario Kart. I mean, I don't hate it. It's just, like, weird. You know, I'm not playing Mario Kart yet. Yeah. Yeah, so the past two, few days, I've been resting, but today, plan is simple, playing fucking Mario Kart. Classic story times. Okay. I think I'm ready to get into it, honestly. I've been yapping long enough. Any other updates? Oh my god, it's my birthday next week. It's my birthday next week. Guys, check the pin message. 12-hour birthday stream this Wednesday, April 24th from 10 a.m., to 10 p.m. We're doing it again. Let's see if this year, if I cry on stream. I actually cried last year. Um, watch the VOD on the VOD channel. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. <laughs> I can't believe I cried. But we have a, we, I have a banger stream planned for y'all this year. Um, actually, there's gonna be plot. I promise. It's gonna be a banger stream. Anything else? No. New YouTube video out tomorrow. Make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube. Let's play some fucking Mario Kart. Oh, I- Oh, yeah! There was the new Nintendo Indie Direct on... It was- I think it was Tuesday or Wednesday, but I watched it on my own. And let me say... You guys cannot cancel me for this take. And of all my takes, don't cancel me for this one. It was kind of mid, but I did buy one game. I bought the Sticky Business game, mainly because I thought it'd be good for a 9 to 5 stream. So, and I did buy the DLC bundle because it was a dollar off. And I was like, why not? I got my Twitch bail. So, that's the only game I bought from the Indie Direct. Otherwise, it looked kind of mid. Oh, there was one other game. It was about, like, your personality. But it wasn't available on the Nintendo Drop yet, so I couldn't wishlist it. So hopefully I don't forget about it. I 
think I think that was all that I need to yap about. I'm gonna verify that the game audio is synced. And then we'll play some fucking more. Wait, I swore. I swore. Yeah, I haven't played Mario Kart like for real for real in like a week and a half. Oh wait, we gotta turn this Nintendogs music off. <clears throat> Also, I'm unsure if TTS works today. I tested it, and it worked once, and then I tested it again, and it didn't work, so. We'll see. Okay, I'm going to verify that the audio was synced. It is synced. Now... I have been thinking, I want to try the I reset if I don't get first run again. I, I know I've been saying that. I know I've been saying that. But I think I want to try it. Maybe it may. So today for like a little practice before I do online, I'll try the run and see how far I get. Um, Yoshi! Green, because it's my favorite color. And it matches the bike. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. I have to... I gotta do the free play. CC because I'm not a baby. No teams. Custom items. Wait, custom items? What? Normal. Normal calm. All vehicles. In order. Okay, let's see how far I get. I'm just doing this for fun today. I want to see how far I get. That way, if I genuinely do attempt the I reset if I get first run, I get a, like a little idea. But also keep in mind, I haven't played Mario Kart in like a week and a half. So this, like, does not count. Because in order to- Because during the I rank all the Mario Kart track streams, those were like three, four hour streams. So, if I, <laughs> if I do the I reset if I don't get first streams, or stream, it won't be multiple streams, I promise. If I commit to that again, like, that could be... That could be a sub -a in itself, like, not- Like, not even joking. Because... When I think it was either my first or my second YouTube video. Where the concept was, I reset if I don't get first. And I couldn't do it, because I only did it for like two hours, I think, for that stream. It was like two or three hours. But that was my first started streaming. And that was when a two-hour stream was, like, normal. Okay, that was a normal piece in stream. Which... Okay. I know that my Mario Kart streams aren't long, typically. But that's because I can, I can only yap for so long. Plus, um, I have an actual excuse today. My tooth hurts. Right now, it's a level one and a half. Yo, I did the strat! Oh, I should have helped. Okay, the run's not over, don't worry. I have to go back and actually see how long that stream was. Because I think the video was like 15 minutes long for you to violate, so that means like, obviously I didn't complete the fucking run. <laughs> I, s <laughs> I keep on looking at the map and I think the Splatoon character is a blue show. You know, I'm just gaslighting myself. Yup, easy. See, that took, in itself, like, three minutes. I mean, okay. I'm only doing the first 48 tracks. Let me clarify if I do the reset run. Like, doing all 96? Ooh. I can't even do, like, all 96 normally. That would be crazy. Because I, I know there is, like, speedrun records for beating all 48 tracks. Like, I know that's a thing. Maybe... Wait, maybe I can do that. Uh 
Imagine today I do all 48. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> or maybe. Okay, what if I actually. No, wait, no. If I do all 48, this is gonna be like a four hour stream. I only wanted to stream for like two hours today because I have edits to do. I have work. Just kidding. My sister wanted to hang out. She's so cute. Like, the moment she comes home, she'll be like, Do you wanna play video games? Or do you wanna watch TV show? Okay, she doesn't sound like that. But it's so cute. Screw you, man. Somebody ghosting. I'm doing normal items right now. But it's so cute. She's usually she likes keeping to herself, and now she likes hanging out with people around the the duplex. Watch this. Okay, I have such a huge I have such a huge lead. In the Ferris wheel. Easy. Okay, maybe the reset if I don't get first run is too easy. I'm like a- I'm a Mario Kart pro now, actually. Hmm. Maybe we do a sub-incentive, too. I was thinking about that. Because, like, farming is cool and fun, but I don't want to, like, farm for everything I do. Wait, I just realized one of my ring lights is not turned on. Can I fix that? After the series. I was wondering why, like... Because <laughs> I have a ring light right here, behind my tripod. And then I have one... Oh, wait, you can't see which direction my eyes are looking. But yeah, I have one here, and then one here. Oh! I was wondering why my shadow is so harsh. Meow be day. Dude, I don't click go live for three days and this is what happens. Oh, and then I also remember there was this one girl. Okay. So after my dentist appointment, I went to get boba. And it's one of my favorite boba spots. It's like kind of hidden. It's not a main chain. But it's pretty good. Prices are decent as well. But I'm like waiting outside the counter for like a minute or two and I'm like, okay, where's the where's the girl at? No, she gotta make her drink, get her money. And she comes out and she has like a huge spill all over the front of her sweater and I'm like, oh my god, are you okay? I'm like, did that just happen? She's like, yeah. Oh but wait, she didn't sound sound, she sounded like really chipper. She's like, yeah, that's why like I came out late, I'm sorry. I'm like, oh honey, it's okay. <laughs> like Dude, I felt so bad. <laughs> and there was like a clothing shop like a few doors down. I was gonna offer to like buy her a new sweater, but I was like, okay, that's like too nice. You know, that's like psychopath nice. And I, I'm like, I'm probably a psycho, yes. Yeah, so I shouldn't ask that. But, man, I felt so bad. Because like, obviously they're working by themselves. So they couldn't like ask somebody to help them. But shit, I tipped her like $7. <laughs> and she gave me extra toffee. <laughs> But it's like, what do you do in that situation? I think the worst thing I've spilled at work was like a bottle of oil. Like not on myself, but like it was on the floor. So like, I've never spilled anything on me, I don't think. The most is just like tomato juice when you're cutting them, but that happens normally. But that's why I wear an apron at work and always bring an extra pair of clothes. At least bring extra socks. Okay, I'm gonna turn my ring light on. There we go. Now I'm extra bright. Okay, well that's three races done. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Maybe this is like... Maybe this is gonna be like a perfect run. <laughs> Imagine! <laughs> I mean, granted, like, the first few pre's are really easy, so it's like, it's not too crazy. 
Oh my god, Gage, there was a rainbow. Talking about rainbows, I live in Washington State, so like, we're pretty libbed up. Fairly progressive, but also not really progressive. But, I went to Barnes and Nobles a little while ago, and I saw, like, no joke, so many people with, like, pride patches, like, patches on their sweaters. Like, so many queer-coded people, which I love. Like, it's so nice that people can be, like, open and shit. Also, clarify, I am part of the community. I do have LGBTQIA tagged in my Twitch tags. But I was thinking about it. Like, any time I wear my coat that has the rainbow stripe on it, everybody is so nice to me. Like, nobody is rude. And I was like, is this like a buff? Like, in basically any other area, like, it's a debuff. You don't know if you're gonna get hate crime. But in Washington State, man. It's so nice here. Like, legit, Washington is the best here. No joke. Hands down. And I'm also, like, very privileged that that is the normal. I understand there are a lot of people who do face prejudice on the daily, so... I'm just lucky. Oh, really? Easy. Okay. <laughs> oh no. I can't ruin this run. Easy. Wait, maybe I can ask. Imagine I do a flawless. I reset if I don't get first run. Okay, okay. I think if I. Hmm. Hmm. I gotta think about this one. But you know what I don't have to think about? Telling you guys to follow, because you know what? We're 30 minutes in the stream, so if you're here, click that follow button. You got cool emotes, and you get to type a chat. Isn't that pretty cool? Okay, if I if I do do the I reset up, I don't get first, we have to do sub incentive. Like. But it it, it can't be one sub, because that, that would be crazy. <laughs> that would be insane. <laughs> I am, like, kind of scared for whenever I near the end of the Peace Lock run. I don't know how many other Pokemon I have left to catch. Slay. But I think one of the more recent Pokemon that I've caught this on the party is Mighty End. But Mighty End is, like, 10 Pokemon away from the most recent, so I should be fine. But I did that so the computers could catch up. I don't- okay. I struggled with this trap for the longest time, and I have no clue why. No clue why. It's literally a figure eight. It's like the trademark track of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I- I genuinely think it's- I genuinely think it's because, like, the drifts are too wide. Like, it's not good for an inside drift bike. You know what? We'll say that's why. Not- oh my god! Not because I'm bad at the game. And also, I never used to go for these ramps, too. I'd be too scared. But you know what? I'm not a wimp anymore. Okay, really? That was pretty good. I'm getting so much better at, like, items now. Man, I get comments all the time on Tic Tac or YouTube where they're like, you did this wrong or get better at drifting. And I, I know they're, like, not being mean. I just think they're, like, people who have, like, no self-control. <laughs> and, like, I, like, my regulars, my regular viewers know, like, all my clips and even the YouTube content is, like, months or, like, literally years behind. So, like, granted, if I upload this VOD right now for clips... You aren't gonna see it for, like, probably six months, because I have so many streams to go back and edit. So, like, if you're seeing clips on, like, my TikTok or my YouTube shorts now, 
Wait like another six months and you'll like see like how actually skilled I am. Yo, see that clutch? Ignore the part where I, where I ran into the wall. Okay, if I if I do have to get my wisdom teeth pulled, I'm not going to film myself like after being under anesthesia. Cause like, what if I like say crazy shit, like that I like my chat room or something? I, I don't want that to be leaked. Cause either like people's wisdom teeth videos is either them like proclaiming their love for their friends or whoever is driving them home, or it's them like just gibberish and drooling. Like I can't stream that. Like I would reveal my like secret sugar mama, and I don't want to do that. Which I don't have keyword secret sugar mama. <laughs> Again, I was workshopping that bit the past few days. <laughs> but if I do end up having to get my wisdom tooth pulled, this honestly such an L because I have like at risk of high cholesterol. So like I can't even have ice cream anymore. Like the one good thing about getting your wisdom teeth pulled, I can't like enjoy. I mean, like, I could. I would just have to, like, not tell my doctor, but you should never lie to your doctor. Wink. Okay, that line horribly. <laughs> Uh-oh. I won. Oh, that was kind of close. Mario had a star. Look, he caught up. Yeah, if I do the I reset, if I don't get first, we, we need a sub incentive. We need it. Okay, should I go ahead and do my prepared jokes? Oh, Twisted Mansion? Such an L. No me gusta este... Track. This first, or this middle part is built for me. I'm so good at it. You know what else I'm good at? I don't know. Oh, also, I was thinking about it. If I do just chatting streams, like planned stream content, I think I'm gonna do them on the weekends. I know I said earlier this week that I was gonna do it on Wednesday, but uh, my teeth hurt. Anytime. Anytime I do just chatting, I'll save it for a weekend. Because, like, I usually stream every other weekend anyway. And I think that'll hold me a bit more accountable to it. And also... Typically, more people chat and watch on weekend streams because, like, obviously, people are out of school, out of work. So, I think I'll try that. But what is kind of nice is that for most any just chatting stream I do, no matter the time or day, I usually have a good handful of chatters. But I just want to make sure there's, like, um, I just want to ensure, like, the most amount of people are able to watch it, I think is the best way to say it. Cause like, my channel is small, still really fucking small, after how long? <laughs> so like, me worrying about like, having another like, five viewers for a stream like, doesn't matter at this point. And I talked about this the other day, but as long as somebody is enjoying what I'm doing, then I'll keep doing it for as long as- <gasps> The run's over! Uh-oh. <laughs> Wait, maybe I'm bad. Maybe I'm bad. <laughs> uh... Let's do online. 
If I get first check, it's a sub. Uh-oh, maybe I'm actually bad. Oh, okay. I'll be honest, it's because I was yapping. I was yapping too much. Golden Mario? Because I want to flex. Oh, man. Uh-oh. <laughs> maybe... Maybe we don't need a sub incentive for that stream. Man, is nobody playing Mario Kart? What the hell? New prediction, go Gamba? No! Go Gamba. My goal by the end of the year is to get 10k rank. I think I can do it. Hell yeah. I'm it. I think my strongest track is either Squeaky Clean or Shy Guy. I'm consistently better on Shy Guy Falls though. And now that I know where the skip is, in the bag. Man, I cannot believe I lost. Sorry. <laughs> okay, there's a reason I lost is not enabled in my chat room. There's a reason, okay? Okay. One of my top two tracks. Imagine I get first in my first race of the day. But like, imagine though. Like, how hype would that be? You know items, that's kind of a L. Oh my god, second? This feels like a 100cc race, I'm like not even kidding. I'm gonna hold on to the banana. That way- That was mean. I swear, if that was one of you guys, I'm gonna be really mad. I haven't played in a week, I haven't played in a week. I got really mad. This does feel like a hundred CC though. Wait, I'm in last. There's only eight people in this lobby. Hey, whatever jerk is keeping is still putting banana pills there. Watch this. Caught up? Oh, wait, there's 10 people. I feel like a double bear is shocking right now. Okay, I don't have a lisp, but I do have like problems with the letter R. I think it's because I'm trying to repress my like inner pirate, maybe. I think it's because, like, I copy how people speak, like, the little nuances and speech patterns people have. I don't necessarily know why, but I've always done that. And, like, my sister has problems with the letter R, so, like, I kind of copy her. And I've known my sister for her whole life, so I blame her. <laughs> Mine's too well. 
Don't, Mario. Don't hit yourself. Don't. <laughs> Toad Circuit, because it's easy. I need a dub. I'm also really annoyed because I'm almost 25, like literally five days away, and I still have freaking acne. Like, I got two more coming in on my right cheek. This scar has been here for five months now. I'm just unlucky. Wait, Mute City? I know the skip on this one. Okay, I'll start doing my jokes. <laughs> okay, maybe I should just play this stupid game. Ready for some gaming. I gained like one place. Granted, I didn't do the skip right, I didn't get the second boost. Okay, let's do our first little joke of the day. <laughs> I gotta test out my stand up bits. So about a year ago, my sister and I moved out of our parents' house, and we didn't necessarily, like, have any tableware. The only thing we got was some knives, but it was from my mom's friend. Our parents didn't really give us anything. So, my sister and I decided that we'll buy some, like, good plates, good, some microwavable ones. But any, like, tape or any, like, glassware, like, cups and stuff, we're gonna buy second hand. Because I'm not gonna spend like $20 on a cup set for us only to break them. And prime example, we've been moved out for about a year and a half now. And we started off with like eight glass cups. We now have three. Because I keep breaking them. Not in anger, it's just I have a very like hard hand when I wash dishes. Like I scrub. I really scrub. So like three of the dishes I've just like scrubbed too hard. <laughs> and then the other ones like I've just dropped because I'm a collect. Now imagine we spent lots of money on that glassware, it'd be a waste. No way! 25 points?! Yo! You guys didn't see it, but I went up 25. I thought I was gonna get second! Oh, you know what happened? It's because third place, or no, second place had a boombox, so they got first, and then I used the mushroom to skip. Our second race of the day? Yo! First today? Yes, sir. And you know what? Chat gets a sub. The first non-sub to type in chat today gets a sub. Man. I wasn't even, like, trying! I was too busy yapping! You know what's funny? Since, like, we've broken so many of our glass cups, we've started using, like, mugs. And I don't like mugs as much because they're too heavy. 
like, I'm strong, but I'm selectively strong. Like, I'm not going to use my selective strength to lift up a mug for those two sips, you know? Who let Joe Brandon in my lobby? What the hell? Man, I would I got first. That's still crazy. Okay, that was a good clean line. This feels like a hundred CC. Maybe one fifty, but it feels so slow. I'm in 10th. I like this track, but I also hate it. You know what, Star. Oh, I thought I could trip on those steps, but I guess not. He's seventh, I'm kind of kind of. Never go that way. I just need to keep getting top six. That's literally all I need. I don't want to derank today. After that huge dub. Yup. Joe Brandon won. This ain't my America. <laughs> I don't like any of these. That looks like Scootish is me. But it's not. Inserio? I like I'm good at this track, but it's not what I wanted. I'm gonna be locked in. Why am I not- I'm not tricking properly. Like, I'm pressing the button, but it's not registering. Oh, looking- Is there a blue shell? Why is everybody slowing down? I'm throwing it. What even blocked it? Come out then. This is my chance to shine. 
<laughs> okay, I, I did that to be mean. All these Yoshis in front? Man, I really wanted a shell so they could use their horn. If I get a shell here, I'm using it. Actually, I guess not. Using it? Double item? Double item! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, I don't think that could have played out like any better. I got cooked. Oh, and ninth. My fall from grace. Hmm. Well. Also, guys, we are another 30 minutes in the stream. If you're new, so, <laughs> dude, I can't. So, if you're new here, click that follow button. You get cool emotes and you get to tap in chat. We're so close to 850. We're like 10 away. Can we do it? Wait, should I put my first place counter on screen? Don't do that. Aki? Yeah. First places today? One. Man, I am such a gamer. turning 25 next week and I still don't like the taste of coffee I'm a sucker for things sweet and coffee like even no matter like how much sugar or creamer it's still gonna have that little bitter subtle taste so it's not usually my first thing to order oh dodge <laughs> okay <gasps> flippers anyway so, when I- I have a bit, but like, I don't want to do it, I'm winning. I'm winning! Ooh, a boomerang and banana. Watch this. <laughs> so anyway, I've broken a lot of, like, glassware we have now, so we don't have any glass cups left. Not because I'm, like, mad. It's just I'm a very aggressive scrubber when I wash the dishes. So I will use, like, coffee cups normally. And before anybody asks, there is not coffee in that cup. It's just juice. <laughs> it's passion fruit juice that's, like, one quarter water because it's, like, too sweet. Like, I'm too old. Like, I'm old enough to where I should enjoy coffee, but I don't, but some- now, like, juice is getting too sweet. I'm throwing. Okay, the- the bit didn't ruin this race, I just ruined it. That one lightning bolt cooked me. Like, I was in the worst possible spot. Anyway. So anytime you see me drinking from a coffee cup on stream, it's not coffee, it's probably water or juice. You know, I would- be proud and like drink from a juice box, but I'm not ready for that yet. I don't want to get bullied. I think it's a lot easier to bully somebody for drinking from a juice box than a coffee cup, you know what I mean? Oh, 
In serio? No tango items. <laughs> Minus 13. You know who else is gonna take an L? Because I'm really mad at the non-subs. Because guys, we're an hour into stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to You can link your Amazon Prime to Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you got a sub available. And if you're new here, follow. You get cool emotes for free. Ain't that sick? Do my tooth hurts. Me duele mis oh no. Me duele los dientes. My teeth hurt. Pero tengo que stream. <laughs> yeah, today, I don't know if you can see it. Wait, I'll drink some. It's juice. Okay, I might win, I might win. I'll do another prediction after this race. I really need to get my rank up, like, not even kidding. Like, I get that the bit of me being bad at Mario Kart is, like, funny and all, but it's, like, genuinely ruin ruining my reputation. And if I'm gonna be a gamer in the streaming space, I need to, like, be good. Okay, I'm in first. Not too bad. Unlucky. Very unlucky. It's fine, I can catch it. I know what I'm doing. Watch this. Okay, maybe... Maybe I should not be a gaming creator. Okay, nobody goes for that center line. I just like getting that extra little boost. It makes me feel like I'm strategizing. Up to the herd. down, huh? Any Twitch staffer is watching. Blows your ears. Twitch praises smaller communities. But you know what I noticed? Like, in the past few months? When you go to the Discover tab and search by categories, you can sort the streams by recommended and then also viewers high to low. There's no longer an option to filter streams by viewers low to high. 
And I noticed this UI change in the past few months. And also in the past few months, I've noticed a decrease in followers, new chatter engagements, which doesn't really matter for me because I don't get many followers during live anyway. But because I know when I first watched Twitch, like when I wanted to be a creator, I would go to smaller streams just to see what the nobodies were doing. Because you see some really creative people. And they aren't necessarily getting the audience that I feel they deserve. So Twitch changing the UI to no longer filter by viewers low to high implies that they don't want people to grow. Because is Twitch really going to recommend a one viewer stream to a rando? Probably not. Like you have to actively seek it out. This is my opinion. But in general, like, Twitch does not have an incentive to promote smaller streams anyway. Because it obviously costs the website, like, the cost to run a stream on the back end. So if somebody has like less than three viewers, which is losing money. And in general, Twitch is just hemorrhaging money all the time. So I don't know. I don't get many people from the Discover tab anyway. Like, who's gonna watch a small Mario Kart? <laughs> But, you know, they just keep pushing the people to die. And the only way to combat that is for you to get in the car. <laughs> On the top! It sounded like it said some something else, but I didn't. I misspoke. My teeth hurt. I might have to get a wisdom to pull. So my stutter is like extra bad. Oh, that would have been a sick snipe. No items. Have I gotten any of my wisdom teeth removed? No. It would potentially be my first one. The high global vote. Can we get some yo's? Hello. I gotta wait to see if they're actually coming in or not. Because my dentist was like, either your wisdom tooth is coming in or you have like nerve damage in your mouth. And I was like, uh-oh, how does that happen? And they were like, well, sometimes it just happens. I was like, shit. <laughs> but it's probably just my wisdom tooth. But we'll see. Which, me feeling pain in my mouth could be related to my spinal cord condition too, allegedly. Which is a huge L. Because I'm only supposed to feel pain in my extremities. So like my arms, my legs, like not my teeth. I feel like most people get them removed at 18. Wait, is it really that young? I thought it was like 25. Like I, I thought I'm at like the cusp. I, one of my friend's roommates got their wisdom teeth removed and the friend is like, or the friend's roommate is like 33. Maybe I'm just like a late bloomer. A lot of other things started happening when I was later too. Like I didn't get my cycle till I was like 13. 13 or 14. Like there's some like kids who get it at like 7. Which is crazy to me. Like imagine having like an extra 7 years of a period. Like that's gotta fucking suck. Oh my god I'm in first clippers! I'll talk about something else. I don't want this in my winning compilations. <laughs> I 
Dude, this is why, like, I can never be a speedrunner. Because, like, imagine I have, like, an amazing run. A record pace winning run. And then, like, either chat says something stupid, or, like, I see, like, a weird joke. Like, do I really want that in my, like, PB run that I have to post on speedrun.com? Like, that's one of the big reasons why I don't want to speedrun. I'm just too embarrassed. <laughs> okay, he got me good. Throw it! Throw it! You're such a little bitch. Just throw it. Dude, throw it! <gasps> you are such an asshole! Our red shells collided. I That could have been me. I'll take a second, though. I need to get my rank up. But see, this is not going in my winner's compilation now, so that's kind of huge. Oh. <laughs> Let me drink my coffee. Oh, I didn't have my... I gotta have my granola bar. I don't like any of those tracks. I saw this one boomer on TikTok, and he was saying how he helped his diabetes and also weight, lo weight loss journey was to have fiber in the morning, like the first thing he ate. So I've just been having fiber one bars every morning. And this is day four. And I can say... Because I usually have, like, uh, healthier snacks, and then also my protein shakes have, like, a decent amount of fiber, too. Like, I will say, constipation is no longer an issue. Wait! Sunshine Airport, I'm literally gonna win! The only bad thing about the fiber bars is they have 15% of your daily sugar, so... Ooh! Watch this, I'm gonna win. I'm just now realizing, or remembering rather, that the granola hurts my teeth. Because <laughs> they're so chewy, I forgot. It was also really funny. The day I had to go to the dentist, like, I forgot to eat breakfast. So I was like, shoot, I'll just bring a granola bar on the bus. So I, I was eating it on the way there. Like, on the walk to the bus stop. And... I had so much granola soaked in my teeth. I was so embarrassed. Like, I was trying to, like, aggressively, like, try to get it out of my fingers and shit. Like, as I'm waiting at the bus stop. Because, like, imagine I roll up to the dentist with shit in my teeth. Like, I did brush my teeth before I left home, but I don't want to walk in with granola and chocolate in my teeth. Like, how do I explain that? But thankfully, when I got to the clinic, they had mouthwash in the bathroom. And they were like, please rinse out your mouth before your appointment. I was like, I gladly will. Because, <laughs> like, I don't want to have to explain, like, having, like, brown shit in my teeth to the netness. You know what I mean? Just to clarify, that doesn't happen often. It's only when I have granola bars and also have, like, a very fun Friday night. Okay, stupid joke, stupid joke. Don't put that in the compilation. I swear I'm good at this game. Fade away. My time to shine.
Yo! I'm getting another prediction up first again today. Go Gamba. I haven't gone to any of the stand up open mics for like a month now. It's mainly because, like, I was getting home too late. Like, I would get home at like 9 30 or 10 o'clock and I would just be like so tired. But, like, the more I think about it, I genuinely think it would be kind of fun to like genuinely try stand up. Which it seems like so against my personality type. Like anybody who knew me in school, they would never think I would be a streamer or like any type of like outward personality facing person. I just think it'd be kind of fun to try. Like try once and then never again, unless like people win. Like, if I do stand-up and nobody giggles, then I'm just never going on stage again. Ooh, lucky. Oh! Unlucky. They have one in the grass. I wonder how many people playing Mario Kart are like children. Because I know Nintendo games are baby games. But I feel like Mario Kart is seven years old at this point. Like, are little kids playing this game for the first time ever still? Like, I don't think so. They probably played Mario Kart Tour first because it's on their little white bags. I'm convinced that like. 75% of the players who still play Mario Kart are adults, like me. I'm turning 25 next week. And I think the reason why it's so popular with, like, older people still is that it's just like gambling. The item, the way it rotates, the RNG in some of the races, it's mostly skill, but sometimes RNG. And Serio, just like that, just like that. Like, it has me hooked every single time I play. Like, I'm on the edge of my seat, literally. Jumping up and down to see if I win. It's just like gambling. They should ban it for children. <laughs> Dude, my rain keeps going down. Mary Mountain, I've won so many times on this track. A while ago, a chatter asked why my me skin was so pale, but my me skin tone is not the palest pale, it's like the second level. Cause like, I look a bit tanner on camera, but that's cause I have my saturation up. Like I'm fairly light skinned, I used to be super tan when I was younger, but that's cause I obviously played outside more. That's also why my hair is really dark too. But the more I stay inside, the paler I get. 
But like the moment I step outside, I brown easily. scary. Did you know? That depending on which directional key you press when you trick, you get a different animation? Watch this. This is R1? Okay, okay! <laughs> Watch this. This right here is R1. Mario does a double hand fist facing up. And then R2. He does one hand fist it up. Isn't that crazy? First, wait. I thought it, I thought it said first. <laughs> Watch this. Oh wait, I should hold my red shell. I should really hold. I think. Can we get some yos? Hello. You stay the fuck away from me, Ludwig. You got your card in the mail? Let's go! I'm glad it- Wait, that's an ice cream head. I'm glad it arrived safely, Vic. Dude, I'm in last fucking place. Yes, I swore. I got- Look at the screen! I have first place. I literally got a first place today. You got yours too? Okay, good. Very good. Guys, ignore the number that's on the bottom right. I did get at least one first place today. I'm not even kidding. What? Mario? Why do they have an animation of, like, him hitting his head? I think that's, like, not chill. I'm, like, not even kidding. That's, like, not cool for Nintendo to do. We should cancel them. SMH? Bo -bo -bo, I want you to log in into Mario Kart Online and get a first place on your first race. Go ahead. Yeah, can we get hashtag cancel Nintendo trending? Imagine. <laughs> I actually would get first place because my level is so low. Wait, wrong hand. Bo Bobo more like Lo Bobo. Isn't Bobo Oh Lobo is wolf in Spanish? Lo Bobo. <clears throat> How would they have so much acceleration? That's crazy. Share something with guys? We're not with guys, but you guys. <laughs> there are few there are very few things I get self-conscious about. And for a long time, I used to be really self-conscious whenever I don't have chatters in my starting soon screen. Which is whatever. You know, I average less than five viewers now, so it happens. But today, we're an hour 30 into stream. I'm in fucking six. I didn't have any chatters for the first hour and something. Hour and change. Which rarely happens for a peace and stream. 
And I'm talking about this now in the VOD. Because, like, I'm obviously going to edit back this stream. And I want to, like, hear myself say this for, like, affirmations later. But for that hour, I didn't feel bad at all. Compared to, like, six months to a year ago, where I would feel, like, internally really sick. I think it's because a lot of my commentary is based off of, like, banter. And it's not necessarily the best form of commentary style when you have very few viewers. But for that hour, I was yapping, I was joking, I was goofing and gapping. I think it's because I haven't clicked alive in three days, that's probably the main thing. But I wasn't, like, upset at all. Because compared to, like, six months to a year ago, I would be like, hmm. Man, my, maybe my title wasn't good. Or maybe it's like Twitch taking a huge L. But no. It doesn't fucking matter. Oh my god, I'm in second? Watch this. Imagine that hit him. But I think I've finally gotten to a point where I just don't fucking care. Which could be a bad and a good thing. Because something that does stick with me is, like, obviously, if you aren't monetized on social media, you don't make money. So you're either doing social media to, like, gain monetization or just for fun. And I, I always say that I stream to have fun. But I think that's more true now than ever. Granted. Granted. You know, I could do freelance work, I could do part-time job, but obviously my mental health is not ready for that yet. And I think it's because for so long, I didn't allow myself to, like, have fun. And I'm really glad that, like, I can, like, mentally allow myself to just pass time to pass time. That's something I was thinking about the past two days. Because the past few days I was like resting and then also editing. Because a, a huge problem that I'm having now is not allowing myself days to like just do nothing. Because I think the biggest change from like leaving a traditional job, I used to work like 40 to 80 hours in fast food. So like I would have a set schedule, I would get off at a certain time, start at a certain time, and I would have set days off. So on the days off, like I would like fuck around and like chill but ever since i started streaming obviously it's not a fucking job yet <laughs> don't worry it, this will become a job but I, I try to treat it like a job in that sense but since there's no set schedule no set hours it's very easy to have days where like you stream you edit you do social media and then you do that every day so you don't have a day off not many creators have a day off. And you've probably seen like like OG YouTubers talk about like how they don't take vacations because they're kind of desensitized or not de incentivized to take vacations because the less you upload, the less money you make, the less influence you have, and then your employees suffer. And it's I talked about this before too, but like I have a lot of guilt whenever I don't like get shit done. And like obviously I have like physical limitations as well. And that also, like, guilts me a little bit. But it's finally sunk in that this is and should stay fun. Like, I should only stream when I want to stream. I should only edit when I want to edit. I'm not having fun, I'm lying. I lied, I'm not having fun. <laughs> I did 12. <laughs> Guys, our first last place of the day. If you want to see more epic last finish, if you want to see more epic last place final finishes, click the follow button. Turn that heart purple. Do it, please. I need it. Can I get a sympathy follow? Please? 
Wait, who subscribed? Who subbed? <laughs> Wait, who subbed? <laughs> I wanted a follower, not a sub. <laughs> Good to see you back. Hi, Electra. Thank you for the resub if it was you. If not, then... Glad to see you too, man. I don't know, it's the fucking dentist! They were gaslighting me. Also, my teeth hurt. It was you? Okay. That was- it's really funny. Cause, obviously, since I have the new sub goal- Or cause usually I have a total subs versus new tier ones. Or new primes. So like, now we can see whenever somebody resubs. Even if there's no alert. And it's also cool cause in the chat- If I have the Twitch sub goal, the banner shows now too whenever somebody subs or cheers. Which is kinda cool. But then I also don't, like, want to call people out. But then I- I do it- okay. <laughs> I say I don't want to call people out, but I do it all the time. Like, I just say I don't want to do it to, like, make myself feel better. It's- that is gaslighting 101, guys. Okay, sixth place, Slay? I need to- okay. I want your guys' opinion on this. Do you think it's okay for, like, non-queer people to say slay? I'm indifferent. Because I kind of feel like it's a little bit of stolen valor. Because obviously, like, you use certain words around people you know who are in the community because it, it feels safe to say said words. But I always feel kind of, like, icky whenever you hear, like, a straight person say slay. It's serio? Is that karma? Like, I understand that slay is, like, a very, like, online term to say. It reminds me of, like, meme gif reactions. But I, I feel indifferent about it. Come on, give me another first. I want it. I want it. I want it. No! <laughs> In serio? Screw you, man. I took your item box. It kind of makes me cringe. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel too. Like, it it feels like it's my word to say. Even I I never used lay for the longest time until it became like a Twitch emote, like a seven TV emote. But like, I find myself saying it more ironically than anything. No, please. I'm gonna scream. Played that one so good. I played that game so good, and I got robbed. I'm gonna drink my coffee. That's not coffee. I don't know where chat is. <laughs> it's like when corporations try to use slang or a meme and it just kind of ruins it. I Sorry, it's the granola. I think the best way to explain that is when something like a meme or any type of vernacular is used within your own space, it feels cool. It feels like an inside joke. It also kind of feels like, like a dog whistle in the sense of like a good thing. You know, when you hear somebody say a certain word, you're like, oh, I'm cool with them. You know? But then when it becomes mainstream, it feels like, it's like so many people trying to join your group and feel like they're in on the joke. It just doesn't feel chill.
Okay, that... <laughs> Splatoon Kid kept on hitting the walls there. the gamers in chat is it really that impactful if I get a wired controller like will it make me better at the game I know I've heard murmurings that wireless has like a little bit of delay but it just it doesn't seem like a substantial amount and it's because I keep on seeing this one Kirby Pro controller but it's wired and I really want it because it's cute but I also, like, don't want to have wires. Because my Switch is a good distance away from me. Like, if I had a wired controller, like, the wires would be all up in my footsies, and I don't want that. I'm debating. Give me a sixth place. That could have been so clean! My rank is like the same as when I started stream. I don't like any of these tranks. I have a wired Nintendo controller. And to be honest... <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to cook you like that. And to be honest, I don't like how cheap they feel because they're wireless. They don't have a lot of the internal parts, so they're really hollow and light. Wait, okay, now that I think about it, I've never touched a wired Pro Controller. Okay, it feels heavy, like... I could be doing my reps with this. I, I need to be careful when I'm doing this. I'm gonna like hit myself in the face. Oh. Maybe, I, okay, maybe I should get a wired controller to like try it out. Also, I know tomorrow is 420, you know, the funny number day. I was going to do like... Okay. <laughs> now nobody steal this idea. I'm not gonna do it, but I, I might do it at some point. I was gonna do a, a... A smoking stream? Emphasis on the finger quotation marks. Cause like, I've never smoked like a cigarette, an e-cig, a vape. I've never done marijuana, even though it's legal in my state. Mainly because, like, I'm so scared of, like, being different whenever I'm under the influence. And, like, nicotine, you should just never do it. Like, you'll get heart disease and you will die, okay? Just don't. But, like, the, the joke was going to be, like, me smoking, <laughs> like, a cigarette e jiff. Like a, like a jiff of a cigarette. <laughs> but... That's like as far as the joke goes. Like, I don't like how do how do I make that like funny? <laughs> like, I think the I think the opening gag of like turning off the starting sin screen and then you just see me with like a little fake cigarette gif is like funny for like ten seconds, but like for a full, for a whole hour, like how, how do I continue that bit? 
Oh, I still... I'm so far behind. I should not have committed to, like, putting my hands up. Okay, like, I have so many, like, prop joke ideas, but I can't do them during fucking Mario Kart because I need both hands for my controller. Like, Nintendo has not made a one-hand controller yet. Like, not even the Joy-Con setups. So, I'm sorry, fans, but I'm not gonna do a smoking stream for 420. I'm sorry. I, I, I can't think of a good joke. Just take it and a bowl. I've been offered like edibles. My, you know, you know something crazy. When I got seventh, I caught up. Like my parents are both like very anti-drugs. My dad quit smoking. He quit cigarettes when my mom was pregnant because my mom was like, "No smoking around my children, or I'll break up with you." And then he quit, like immediately. He, I've only seen him smoke twice, and that was because, like, his friends had, like, cigars, okay? You, you gotta smoke a cigar if you see one. Sunshine Report, and I literally win. But my mom, they're both, like, really anti-drug. But, like, I think it was four years ago. Like, this was when, like, weed... Because weed was legalized when I was in 11th grade, I think. So when I was a teenager, so it's been like, like, almost 10 years since it's been legalized in my state. So four years ago, my mom, she came home with edibles. And they looked like cookies. But it was, it was so funny. Because comically written on the bag, she wrote in Sharpie, Weed, do not eat. <laughs> Which is good, good parenting, okay? Good parenting. But it was just so weird to see her try them. But she only did it, like, twice. And she offered me, because I, I was 21 at the time. I was 21, so I was legal. But I said no. Because, like, I don't want to get higher on my mom, you know? But also, like, I'm not allowed to spend my money on marijuana. So whenever my disability benefits are over, I can buy it if I want to. But I don't know if I want to. First time I got high was with my mom. <laughs> was it a good time? <laughs> oh my god, fourth place? Ain't no way. Watch this. Yo, second? Wait, I'm gaming. Oh, what even hit me? Stop! He red shelled and bob me. I think he likes me. You're supposed to be mean to your crush, right? Wait, I'm mean to my chat. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> um, guys, it's not what you think it is. I literally rolled my eyes, I got so annoyed. It was fun until I got paranoid? Dude. My mom just makes me par paranoid normally. I think it would be a multiplayer if I got high with her. <laughs> I haven't seen my mother in a year. close to winning and then I just throw maybe I just like losing granola bar is done
No me gusta este track. a good run. Get your reblade. Okay, you guys can't narc, but I, I think I am gonna try and do the, the rads test on stream, which is a spectrum quiz. And I'm having some of my friends take it who like are on the spectrum. I'm obviously not gonna see their diagnoses, but you guys know my sister. <laughs> She is on the spectrum. She has autism. And her score was so high. Because <laughs> I had her take it like when we were on the bus one day, so like I could help her if need be. And she got it done in like 10 minutes. And <laughs> she was just showing me her score. I think the test is like out of 200 and the the consensus is if you score 70 or 75 or higher, then you might be on the spectrum. Dude, she scored 150! <laughs> and, like, my sister, like, she when she was younger, she was diagnosed with high functioning. It's not called that anymore. It's just, like, autism. Oh my god, I'm in third place! Ain't no way, and there's a blue shell. Okay. So... If you, like, interact with her, like, at all in real life, like, a lot of her friends don't know. They just think she's, like, a little bit awkward. But if you spend as much time as I do with her, like, you you know that, like, she's, she's a little bit spicy. But she scored 150, and I have to, like, because, like, I, I know, like, her, her symptoms and stuff and, like, ways to accommodate her. But I didn't realize that, like, she would score that high. And it was so hard for me to, like, not, like, giggle on the buzz. Because, like, okay. When I react to things, if I'm scared, sometimes I laugh. Or if I'm shocked, sometimes I laugh. I'm like, okay, I'm not saying that. But, dude. I was like, oh my goodness. And the, the website is actually really good because whenever you finish the test, they have, like, a custom PDF that, like, explains your score and then offers ways on like how to like potentially manage any symptoms you have and like how to ask for accommodations like it's a really good resource but bro because like i skimmed through the questions before so like i have an idea of what it's gonna ask but i don't know what i'm gonna score and it was so funny because she <laughs> she showed me like a screenshot of her score on the bus and she's like did i do good and I was like, yeah, you did great. <laughs> I giggled a little bit. <laughs> but, I don't know, my sister's so cute. I, like, I talk about her a lot, but a main point that she wanted me to, like, make sure to reinforce whenever I do do that stream, which I might do this weekend, I might do it next week, I don't know. I, I just want to, like, make sure I address it properly. Is that a lot of people, especially now with like TikTok and shit, like people jokingly like self-diagnosing or like saying one trait or because they have one trait means they're like autistic or on the spectrum. Like you're minimizing a disability whenever you do that. Like it can be like seen as quirky to have some symptoms of like autism or like spectrum. Or diagnoses related to the spectrum but it can be debilitating for a lot of people to varying degrees like some people aren't able to verbally communicate at all and others are able to like hold a job and a lot I think it's like 85% of people who are on the spectrum aren't able to hold a traditional full like 40-hour work week 
So that was just like a point that my sister wanted me to make sure I reinforce. That like it's still like a disability. And it should not be like joked about too much or minimized. And I was like, okay. And like I know I myself have considered getting like a formal evaluation, but it's kinda like, dude. I have, like, so much other shit. It's like, do I really want one more thing on my jar? I think the- Okay, I should not say that. <laughs> one of the benefits of getting a diagnosis, if you live in Washington State, though, is if you have any type of spectrum diagnosis, so, like, ADHD, autism. You get free dental care in Washington State as part of Medicaid. Even if you're not on Medicaid, you get you just get free dental. Care, which is like sick. And it's cool because they the clinics that are covered under the state dental insurance, they offer a lot of accommodations. Because I was like researching a few of my sister the other day. Because obviously I have to go to the dentist, so I was like trying to see what she could access and stuff. But that's really cool that they offer. I'm at 11. This is karma for laughing at my sister. <laughs> I hate this game. I will, I think the last thing I will say about it is, like, I obviously joke a lot. I'm not formally diagnosed. I do demonstrate some symptoms. But it, it's really difficult for me to, like, process it internally because a lot of the symptoms that I have are also correlated with, like, mental illness. So, like, um, executive function. It's like your ability to do daily tasks. Um, oh, and also a few of the symptoms correlate with my uh, spinal cord issue. Because in general, people who have the searing milia have issues with speaking. So like, you know how I jumble and, my, and I stutter? Like, I haven't always stuttered. That's like a, that's a new trend in the peace and arc. <clears throat> Like, even when I went to the cardiologist and said, oh yeah, I got poor circulation in my feet, in my hands. He was like, well, isn't that related to your, your spinal cord thing? And I was like, yeah, but like, I don't know if it's like double dipping. And he's like, well, we, we'll just say it's related to your spinal cord thing. And I was like, okay, Dom. I'm trying- okay, for this line at the end of Coconut Mall, I'm trying to go for the speed pad boost on the ground and then go for this right section. Because going for the left again in the parachute is such a waste of time. Like, you're adding, like, three seconds to your time. It's not three seconds, I'm wrong. Okay, I have to get another first place for the believers. Yes, I've got another- I've got- I got another first place earlier, I just want to get another one. Dodge? That one guy, yeah, that one guy. <laughs> Who's sniping? This is supposed to be my trick. Yeah, I've got up. Lucky me. 
<gasps> Ain't no way, fifth. I thought that said third. And I got really excited. I'll take a third. I'll take it. I got lucky with the ghost at the end. I'll take it. Okay, I'm officially higher ranked than when I started. I'm at 78, 72, so I'm up 100 points. Those second places really were coming in clutch. Cheap Cheap Beach? Okay. If we get Cheap Cheap Beach, I'm literally not going to talk. I'm going to dial in. Dialed in. If we get Cheap Cheap Beach. Or... Moonbu Highway, I'm pretty good at too, but I'm still like trying to land the best line. Also, ooh, Moonbu Highway? Okay, I'll yap. I'll yap. Also, the first non sub to type gets a sub because I got first place earlier. You guys only got like 10 minutes left to type. <gasps> Bowser's in our lobby! I'm locked in. I'm gonna get Bowser now. I'm scared of him. Uh -oh. <laughs> Dude, that like did nothing. I love this game so much. See the car. Who thinks I'm going to get first type one? Somebody find the clip where I got first. I think it was at like 40 minutes. <laughs> I do, Mew. Okay, single digit. Yo. You know what? I'm running an ad because I'm really mad. And also, we're two hours in a stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for four ninety nine, just five dollars. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you got a Prime sub available. Do it now. I will do one more race. One more for the fans. I said short stream today. I'm committing. I've also used all my jokes. I only have three. <laughs> it's because for the Mario Kart streams, usually, obviously, I have a longer list. And they're just, like, conversational topics. But I'm, like, trying to, like, pre-write jokes in my head. Like, you can tell, like, when I have a setup and then a punchline. Because I, I just, in general, want to get better at storytelling. Mirror mode? Fuck! I hate this track, too. In general, I want to get better at storytelling. So I, I will like, I'll write down the concept and then in like the hour or two before I click go live, I'll like formulate how I want to write out 
or speak the joke or tell the joke or tell the story. And what I've noticed ever since doing that for the past few Mario Kart streams is that I feel a lot more confident telling the story. Yeah, I do mumble and drumble some of the words, but I, I feel like the delivery has gotten a bit better. Because at its core, a classic piece of marketer stream is not about the gameplay. At all. It's about, like, what I'm yapping about. I think that's a big, huge influence for that type of, like, commentary style is Squeaks. Dude, I love Squeaks. It's me! <laughs> I love his stream so much. Because, literally, he just plays the game and then goofs and gaps with chat. Like, he has, like, a handful of, like, jokes that he'll do, or bits, or prop bits, and I love it. I hate mirror mode. I- okay, if I- if I didn't, like, get banned for, like, leaving a lobby, I would leave this lobby. I- I fucking hate this. lines memorized at all oh my goodness I just need single digits single digits talking about digits the phone digits, mind you. Do not ever give out your personal phone number. Unless you're, like, dating somebody. Like, if some little bro at the register asks for your number, do not give it to them. Just give them your Snapchat or some shit. That's what they really want, let's be honest. Because you should never give your, like, direct contact information to any stranger. Because you don't know if they're, like, a psycho. And I mean that, like... Like, I, not, I know it's not cool to say psycho anymore, but genuinely, what if they're, like, crazy? Just give them, their, give them your IG, give them your Snapchat. Because it's so much easier to block somebody on social media than to, like, block a phone number. From, from what I've heard. I'll do one more race for the fans. All these fucking suck! Random. I don't like any of these tracks, but I'll do one more for the real fans. Oh my god, Peter Griffin's in my lobby. He stopped playing Fortnite to play Mario Kart. You do know what I think would bring Mario Kart back to life? Fortnite skins. Give us OJ. Give us Peter Griffin. Give us Ninja. Boo, like Last race, I'll win this for you guys. I'm having fun. I'm having fun. Okay, top six. Okay. <laughs> Save. That was honestly like a flawless clutch right there.
Turn that nut upside down. Ooh, also the other day I finished the Fallout TV series. Okay, I'll be honest, I don't- I legit don't know any of the Fallout game lore, but the show was pretty good on its own. I bet if I knew the game lore, it would probably kill the show, but... But what I will say though is that it, the show did not convince me to buy the game. It might have convinced my sister though, because she likes games like that. She likes open world narrative. A lot. I think her favorite game right now has got to be Yakuza. She loves the Yakuza games. Minus three! But you know what? I'm now ranked 7862. I'm up 100. I'm going to end it here. I, I'm not going to lose any more points today. Also, to clarify, as you can see, I did get one first place today. Let's fucking go. I mean, freaking. I got to turn that off. Let's go. I did get a first. Also, the tracks that were next in queue were bad. So I don't want to do it. <clears throat> Guys. Short stream. Short stream. I got work to do. I got to edit. And cook. Clean. Nah, I'm not gonna clean today. I'll clean tomorrow. <laughs> so... If we have anybody who wants their name written, you can go ahead and use your channel points or donate to the channel and I will write your name. Do so now, as I enjoy my juice. I, I'm just, okay, the juice is yellow because it's passion fruit, okay? It's not, it's not anything else. Do we have anybody? Ew, I hate being in 30 frames. You can see the lag. Ew. Okay, guys i think i'll wrap it up here for today thank you for anybody thank you guys for watching any chatters lurkers thank you for hanging out promise more streams coming i might stream tomorrow maybe sunday for sure by monday tuesday i gotta go to the dentist so no stream unless you guys want to see like i don't know <laughs> i'm only getting an x-ray it's not like i'm gonna come up with like bandages on my mouth surely hopefully <laughs> Nah. <laughs> no, right? No, it's, they said just x-rays. But, this upcoming Wednesday, April 24th, from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m., I will be doing the annual birthday stream. It'll be my third birthday with chat, so make sure you're watching. I got a lot of shit planned, and by a lot of shit, I mean a lot of things. If you know, you know. So, if you want something to watch right now, new YouTube video, do this to grow on Twitch. Click the link and watch the top 10 tips from your favorite streamer, Peason underscore 17. And just in general, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel's main channel for weekly stream highlights and the Clips channel for daily YouTube shorts and clips from stream. New YouTube video will be public or posted tomorrow morning, so make sure you're subscribed to and watch it when it comes out. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Once again, I appreciate your patience with me. Honestly, my teeth hurting is a huge L. Hopefully they don't get worse. Crossing my fingers and my toes. But we'll see. Dude, wait. Let's look up how long it takes to recover from wisdom teeth removal. Like, surely it's not more than two days, right? Let's see. Wisdom teeth recovery time. One to two weeks! <laughs> okay. 
from a Cleveland clinic. Wisdom teeth removal takes one to two weeks on average, but most people can resume activities in about three to five days. Dude, imagine, dude, two weeks? Shit. Cause like, okay, the only thing I'm kind of concerned with like any type of surgery is an infection. Cause like, if you get an infection, you die. If you don't get antibiotics in time. So like, dude. I'll be back on my feet. <laughs> Wait, what, what if I click go live and it's like me with bandages and then a sling and a cast? Nah, I don't, I don't think- it, you should not lie about that. I had four removed and it wasn't too long. You had four? Wait, I thought you only had two! What the f- Wait, <laughs> I know- Okay. I know you can only remove them, like- You can't get them all out at once, I don't think. Wisdom teeth amount. The normal person, keyword normal, will have four or fewer. Wait! I, okay, okay. I thought they were just on your bottom jaw, but they're on your top jaw too. Dude, if I have to do this shit four times... Some people have an additional tooth or a whole set of teeth. Okay, that's less common. Dude. Yeah. You know, I thought evolution was good. Well, typically wisdom teeth come in in late teenage years or early adult. Well, hopefully, hopefully my teeth are just dirty and I don't need my wisdom teeth pulled because shit, man, imagine being out for that long. Good thing I don't have a job because using PTO for that would fucking suck. Anyway, guys, I'm stalling. I'll see you all when I see you. I need to stop saying I'll see you tomorrow or I see you with this day. I need to genuinely stop. So, I will see you when I see you. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. It's a Okay, it's sunny for me. It's really sunny for me. It's like 70 degrees outside. It's wild. Enjoy the rest of your Friday. Have fun. And I'll see you all later. Bye-bye. Bye, Electra. Thank you for watching. This sounds like Toy Story music. Yesterday, when I was on the bus, I saw the most Toy Story looking ass clouds in the sky. Like the most cartoony looking clouds. It's not often we get a clear sky view in Washington. You know, Washington is great, but we just need more sun and it would literally be the perfect place. You know, this is where the Oregon trailers wanted to go. Anyway, guys. 
I'll see you all when I see you. Wait, I gotta play the outro song. You got one more minute. Any final words? I have 154 block terms in my chat room. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bye.